So there are some cynical observers who say that the reason the Chinese were willing to talk uh, about AI is that they're behind the United States. Uh, and so they want to learn what they could about where, about where we are. You're our ambassador for digital policy. You have the broad overview. Where are the US and China in the, this technological competition on large language models, on quantum computing, on biotech? Are, are, are we ahead, behind, even? What's your judgment? I mean, I, I, you know, rather than let me make a sort of political pronouncement about where I think we are, um, which country in the world is the largest, uh, most popular destination for entrepreneurs who want to build businesses in these spaces? Which country in the world is the destination of the largest amount of venture capital and private e equity investment in these areas? Um, it's the United States. This is still the place that uh, people want to come in order to build great businesses. And ultimately, uh, that's the most powerful arrow uh, in our quiver. And so I think that uh, if you believe that tech innovation as a source of national power is foundational, and I believe that with every fiber of my being, that traditional measures of strength uh, like GDP or like military capacity are more and more downstream, actually, of a nation or a coalition and economy's ability to innovate in these core technology areas. If you believe that, um, then innovation has to remain our North Star because uh, we're, we're in, a, in, in the early innings of a significant competition to see whose operating system becomes the dominant one in the world in these areas. And if uh, those of us who are committed to things like uh, representative government and free markets and e equal treatment of all people, um, need a, a generally rights-respecting operating system to prevail.